I was so excited to work with Alma Harrell, and I've admired her work so much, and she just exceeded every expectation I, I dreamed of. And, um, and also this story of two women trying to liberate themselves, tell their own story, was so compelling, and to get to work with Moses Ingram was amazing. I think that there's so much incredible atmosphere. You've got the music and the, uh, and the fashion of the 60s and the production design is just gorgeous. And then you've got these two really ferocious women uh, leading these, these extraordinary lives um, with a murder mystery that's got its twists and turns. I feel like Apple just has such incredible taste and always has the finest sort of artistic um, taste and, and Alma is just such a master and has such gorgeous, has such a gorgeous eye and such a gorgeous heart. Um, so I think people will be uh, blown away by her vision. Well, it's beautiful to see a woman on such a complicated ride. I think one thing I really hope that people walk away with from these, this experience is um, to have a little more grace. I think if we looked at Cleo on paper, we'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe she did all of these things. But people make these decisions for a reason when they're forced to. Um, and so I hope people remember that. I hope they appreciate the work that everybody put in. It takes a lot of people to make anything, you know, um, hundreds of people. Um, and every one of them matter to the process, and I'm grateful for them today, in particular. Alma says, tension, murder, mystery, and I think that encapsulates it perfectly. Apple TV is the home of prestige. I'm so happy every time I get to come back and do quality work. My song in a dream dance sequence, um, it would probably be something by Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> probably, yeah. That's, that's what I got. To be welcomed in as not just a body, but as a collaborator. To feel like my thoughts um, and ideas on Cleo mattered, on the city mattered, um, and it's really priceless. Alma is tremendous, light, positive, and she comes with that every day. Same energy, what you see is what you get, and I appreciate that. And Natalie Portman is a legend, and I strive strive to reach that level on a daily so I think the biggest thing about the script in of itself was that Ferdy's a man who wasn't willing to compromise and that's an admirable quality that you know I, I'm always going to be appreciative of and I found it really intriguing to, to play from the series you can expect a genre bending series something that sort of goes into the elements of a murder mystery, noir, thriller, you know, uh, some elements of fantasy. I'm, I'm really excited about people just to see Alma, right, and, and what she does. I think it's extremely uh, special visually and um, everything from her background and the, everything that she's able to pull into the show, I think it really speaks volumes. A dream dance sequence, that's a good question. It'd probably be some, uh, some, some, some shimmy in there. Mixed with a little bit of, like, you know what? Honestly, I feel like you send me, Sam Cooke, will be playing somehow. Might just be a slow dance. Maybe with my mom, she's somewhere. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I'd have to go with that. To be completely honest, I, all I really needed was a call from Alma uh, asking me to do the project and I was in. But, that being said, I got the added bonus of reading the fantastic script and also getting a very complicated character because, uh, yeah, Seth is not... He's not the nicest of people, he's not the most um, morally agreeable, but I think uh, those are the most interesting characters to play and they're the most fun to play because they're complicated, you know? I think just where it goes, because I don't think anyone knows quite where it's going to go. And I like, hold out because it gets crazy and it's worth it, so yeah. If I was to have a dream dance sequence, what song would I play? Uh, there's this song called that's all right, but I don't know the name. It's this like crazy Russian choir, and it's this song that's it's called That's All Right, and it's a, this beautiful, this beautiful woman's voice. I love Alma as a filmmaker, and Natalie is one of my favorite actresses. I think she's amazing. I think it's full of surprises. It's beautifully shot. Alma's a visionary, and Natalie's incredible. It's it's um it's an incredible ensemble cast as well. So a lot of beautiful performances. 
This show has everything. I mean, it's got a murder mystery at the center of it, but it's also got all these socioeconomic and cultural observations about the black community and the Jewish community of Baltimore in the 1960s. Unbelievable performances from Natalie Portman and Moses, and, and I'm in it. So what else do you have to know? I think it's a beautiful message for strong women. There's a feminist message very much Im embedded within this story, and both women are limited, held back by their respective communities, and each of them in their own way fights to break out of the stereotypes that bind them. Natalie Portman is living in a household, an Orthodox Jewish household, where women are meant to just stay in the kitchen, and she refuses to accept that life, and I think it's very brave for her, both her character and as an actress. I'm so excited for people to see Moses's beautiful work and really excited for people to see Alma's imagination. The show is captivating and artistic and something that I think is going to inspire a lot of people. My character is Dora Carter and she's Cleo Johnson, Moses Ingram's best friend and they are, it's like watching something warm, like friendship for like that stretch of time, sisterhood. I'm, I'm just ready to, uh, it's so beautiful. It's just so warm and nostalgic. And that's who Dora is. She's, she's Cleo's best friend. She's, she's a jazz singer. She's sexy. She's cool. She's, you'll see. I hope viewers are curious and ready to go back and explore African-American history. Like what black opulence really was. I'm ready for people to do that. A little bit about my character, Reggie, man. He's, um, he's, he's, the, he's the guy that moves the chess pieces around. He's the one that is the connective tissue to this interwoven um, group of people. Um, and he's like he's behind the scenes of everyone. You know, he's behind the scenes with Maddie, he's behind the scenes with Shell and Cleo. Um, and he himself is a pawn in this entire cog. And I think um, uh, his loyalty is what uh, gets him in trouble. It's different because I've seen a couple of the episodes and Alma has really made it her own. And she's made it this wonderful kind of fever dream about two women who end up on a collision course in Baltimore in the mid-1960s. I hope what viewers take away from the story is that in the end everyone owns their own narrative and trying to steal someone else's life story is, is, is a kind of incursion. It's, you know, that we all own our own stories and no one else should be trying to define who we are. I mean, sure, reporters do that. It's part of a journalist's job. But at the end of the day, we get to be the expert on ourselves. If I had a dream dance sequence, oh my gosh, I was not, I think it would be um, Lydia the Tattooed Lady from an old Marx Brothers film. I think this is a really fun story um, about two women and how they find themselves more connected than they think they are. So I'm excited for people to watch and relate to the two main characters. I think Apple is best in class and they are telling stories at the highest level. We had a lot of fun. We were given all the toys to play with. So I'm super excited that they exist and I love making contact, content for them. This is my second show with Apple. So I'm just, I'm excited. Luckily I read a review in the New York Times five years ago that Stephen King wrote uh, on the book that was, had just come out and uh, I really took to it. And when, as I read it, I really thought, uh, I saw one person in mind, and it was Natalie Portman to play Maddie. And uh, my late partner and I were able to uh, get her infected with the same kind of uh, enthusiasm that we had for the project. And from there, it was who was going to become the filmmaker. And we had one wish for that, and that was Alma Harrell. And luckily, she said yes. And then we were off to the races.